Marcus Blackus. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, yo. DJ Academics. Shout out to you. Because realistically, you've been holding the industry down for years as far as like hip hop blogging and stuff like that, keeping us entertained. You got your own personality. It's cool. It stands out. You getting your money. But this little Dirk and NBA Youngboy situation, I was just listening to all the audio. I seen the clips from like Instagram and all that shit. And it's no way in hell that you're not wrong. And it's no way in hell that you should be in your feelings because of their response to what you did. Now, as y'all know, NBA young boy, Little Dirk, they've been beefing for a while. Obviously, King Vaughn is dead. Quando Rondo was down with NBA young boy and them. It's brewed from a situation with Quando, I mean, with um, NBA young boy and King Vaughn having beef over a chick supposedly and being who's harder and all that kind of shit. Now, for DJ Academics to come on his Twitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be on there entertaining young ass little kids. Not to say, I'm not dissing him by saying young ass little kids. What I'm saying is, you know, young people run the world. Young people be on Twitch a lot. You know what I'm saying that's your followers and shit. So you on there entertaining them and you got the nerve to mention this whole situation and say like they squashed their beef. Fam, it's not your place to say, tell the public that they squashed their beef. Even if it was true, it's a way that they got to go about it, they feel, to even put it out. It might take some time to see if the, the squashness is real. You know what I'm saying? Do they really want to squash it? Now, the other part of that is, if it's a lie, it's like, what the fuck? It don't even matter if NBA Youngboy told you that. It don't matter if um somebody that was close to them told you that. This is the thing, especially when it comes to streets. You don't want everybody in your business. Why the hell would they want you to know if they were still beefing or not? Like that. You know what I'm saying? The best thing, especially not for nothing, the best thing would be to tell you that they're not beefing because you're a media person and you're not a street person and you talk a lot. So if they was to tell you that they was beefing, like, I act, I'm going to kill that nigga when I see him or anything like that, you're not going to tell nobody, not a soul. I'm saying, obviously, you're going to tell somebody. They're not trusting you with that information. So regardless, they wouldn't tell you if they was really beefing like that. Now, another thing is... That nigga young boy spaz. He said, you a bitch. But I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you feel like that's your friend. But same time, ain't no friends in the industry. You know what I'm saying? It really ain't. And your media fam. Like, these niggas find you cool and stuff. Like, when y'all have conversations. Like, it's somebody interviewing and stuff. Like, okay, they get your personality. Like, you're cool. But when it comes to certain things, like, nigga. Niggas will violate you for violating them. It's not your place to tell the public that... They squash the beef, even if so. And if they really never squash the beef, it's like you literally just put something out there so dumb that it's like, what the fuck? You're kind of igniting shit to a point because shit been kind of low and dead lately, like as far as we haven't been hearing too much. Um, And then on top of that, so much shit going on with like, I don't want to say hip hop police, but like you already see what's going on, these Rico cases and all that shit. It's like, why start throwing shit out there to make shit start being kind of messy again? And that's the thing that people be feeling about act that they be like, see, these niggas don't get like the, excuse me, the effect that some shit that they do can have a snowball effect and make shit like worse thing to gotta be than it should be at the moment. So I don't know. That's just my thoughts on this shit, man. Um, shout out to both artists. Shout out to all three of them, even act, cause like I fuck with act, man. I'm saying so I ain't gonna slam like that but the thing is like it's just like DJ Vlad with the Troy Ave shit like sometimes these niggas just be talking too much and that shit makes me as a vlogger like not even want to be talking about certain topics and shit like that like I find myself sometimes vlogging about shit and then I'll be like days later or some shit or a week or two I'll be like man should I erase that shit cause like I don't even want to be talking about niggas like that like I'm saying like some of that shit you have different opinions on later and like 
months later and all that kind of shit. So I'll be like, I don't even know. But so salute them for the job that they do do. Cause like somebody got to speak about it, but same time, man, um, it just ain't your place. And that's how I'm going to end it. But definitely go support both of these artists music, man. It'd be a young boys, like number one artist on YouTube, Lil Dirk supposed to be dropping the album soon he dropped a new song i haven't heard it but i heard the cl seen the clips with um j cole i think that's kind of dope um it's an inspirational song and they got kids singing on the hook but the other part of that is because it's a line in that song where he says um he didn't blackball ducking them i guess or some shit i forgot the line but basically he didn't blackball the gds how do y'all feel about that i mean if we speaking in truth but anyway, I'm going to stop talking, man. It's Mark Black. Marcus Blackus.